Everybody, this is LVAO Toro of the Fancy Action Now, and I am here to talk to you about the boycott of Battlefield 5 and why, <clears throat> as a community, that uh, Dice and Electronic Arts have listened to us yet again and gave us something that nobody wants and then have to backpedal and give us kind of a Franken version to placate the con consumer outrage, right? Okay, so what, what we're gonna address in this video is first, Boycott Battlefield 5. It's a bunch of, it's a bunch of shoehorned, force-fed social commentary uh, on World War Two, okay, let me tell you this. World War Two had a certain demographic of who was fighting and who wasn't. Okay, and it, it's it's historical, okay? What EA and DICE are engaged in is revisionist history, which is typical of fascism, communism, some of the worst systems on earth for humanity uh, engage in revisionist history. This is 1984 type of double think, unpersoning, just let's revise the history of uh, the enemy is in Oceania. It's always, but but it's always been Oceania. Uh, now we're fighting uh, Pacifica, and uh, you know, but no, 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 no. It, it Oceania was really our ally. I mean, the double speak going on at EA and, and Dice is, is unconscionable. And regardless of what your opinions are of World War Two or of what groups fought in World War II. It is what it is. So, I mean, if you're gonna do a fanciful, whimsical take on World War II, then don't push that in your simulator immersive experience, okay? Just don't do it. I mean, again, people are looking at this and there's like this, you know, the, there are these strange, whimsical combinations of characters that are positioned as social commentary. So it's become, the video game itself, instead of becoming a simulator of a, an event, of a conflict of, called World War II, it is now a whimsical social re-education commentary. Okay? And they, and here's the other aspect of it. There are many, but the other aspect is that EA and via them, DICE, is in contempt of their actual consumer. They continue to produce products that upon release are bagged by the actual target audience. They are in contempt. EA is in contempt of their own customer base and their own feelings and desires. It doesn't matter what group they are. It doesn't, these are labels that are used to segment and divide people. And EA does not have the right to re-educate a group because they feel a kind of, I guess, a political obligation or a political affiliation that that group may or may not share, in fact, does not share. If you want to be a political action committee or you want to campaign, go do that, EA. Go be a political re-education camp for all I care. But you are not in charge of re-educating 
customers that don't wish to be re-educated and expect a product, okay? When they are, when you buy a premier World War II simulation game and there is so much in there. Oh, it's been done, it's been over, we're trying to freshen it up. No, you're not, no, you're not. It is re-education, it is social engineering, and your customer base is rebelling, and you are holding them in contempt. One of your executives said, oh, we don't. if you don't like it, don't buy it. Don't buy it if you don't want it. Good, because we aren't. We're not gonna buy it. Your pre-orders are in the tank. And they're gonna be, and every subsequent iteration from Andromeda, Battlefront 2, and now Battlefield 5. Battlefront 1 and 2, okay? And we're not getting complete experiences, we're not getting complete games. Again, loot boxes, it's gambling, I mean you, and now it's this, this quasi-1984 social programming, unhistory, controlling the past, and inserting just absolutely whimsical characters into scenarios. So, I mean, again, I'm not saying good, bad, indifferent. I'm not here to judge anyone. What I'm here to say is, is that you're a developer that produces a product for a customer and you are in contempt of your own customer. That is all you need to say about Battlefield 5. EA is in contempt of their own customer base. And you cannot maintain a business and be in contempt of your own customer. Their own executive. Eh. You don't like it, don't buy it. You don't want it, you don't like it, tough. You either, you either go along with what we tell you. We're not working for you anymore, you're working for us. That's the attitude and it spells the doom of this company. Now it's a big company with a lot of money on the books. Somebody's gonna swoop in at some point, restructure, take it over, they have a lot of uh, really valuable IP. Somebody's gonna sneak in there and, and restructure or purchase this thing, and get it back on its feet. But this direction of re-education and social commentary and things that don't belong in video games. Here, here's another ultimate truth I'm gonna tell you. Video games were already the most diverse media ever created organically. Video games, Valis, female protagonist. Samus, female protagonist. Greatest, one of the greatest hidden gem reveal, Easter eggs. One of the greatest Easter eggs in video game history, female protagonist. Castlevania, Maria, female protagonist. Playable in many of the, uh, many of the games on handheld, on console. Lara Croft, one of the most famous protagonists in video games. Female protagonist. I mean, that's, and that's just women in video games before Miss Sarkeesian ever walked on stage or was put on stage by political forces, political manipulators. There was never a diversity problem in video games. It was the most organically diverse medium ever. Vampire the Masquerade, female protagonist, if you wanted. How many others can you name? How many others can you name before Gamergate or any of this was even a topic? Video games, the most diverse medium, entertainment medium, visual medium, artistic medium ever, ever, organically. Never needed it. Never needed anybody to come in and go, oh, we gotta, 
we got to do something about the diversity in video games was never a problem still isn't a problem and it is again political re-education who plays a lot of video games you know this particular group well we want to get in their head we want to go in there and we want to manipulate we want to take over we want to politicize it all and it is tired and it we are walking away okay walking away hashtag walk away from EA okay we're walking away from it you're not getting any of our money ban Battlefield 5 and ban EA no more buddy no more i'm gonna go right over to bethesda's website who does not patronize me in video games doom eternal for god's sakes you're fighting demons you're fighting demons and if we're not allowed to make a joke on the social commentary of the time if you're not allowed to make a joke then we might as well be in soviet russia okay we might as well just hand it all over because that is ridiculous a harmless joke on the commentary of the time we are free to do that we are free to do that and we are free to not patronize your games EA. Boycott Battlefield 5, boycott EA. This has been El Viejo Toro, the fancy action now for the gamer. <laughs>